Good evening, peeps. Welcome again to Channel 48. And thank you for tuning in on this Tuesday evening, cold outside, but nice and warm in the studio. Today, I'd like to present to you my very first and newest Pear Debian OS an operating system that you can run straight off a USB stick. It's for 64 bit devices, UEFI devices. And, um, well, I just created a bootable USB stick, which you can do, of course, with Rufus or with Etcher or any uh, application that will let you create a bootable USB stick. So I created mine and we're gonna boot up the computer and see what it is. I hope you will like this operating system. And if you do, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did not already. All right, so let's take a look at Pear Debian. <laughs> I'm doing this onto is a HP i5 ProBook 67 something B, and um, I'm gonna reboot the machine. This is Windows 11 that you're looking at, so we're gonna restart and boot from the bootable USB stick that you can see here. At least, yeah. It's one of a kind and it has some extra uh, look and feels that you can change with a click to bring you a different look and feel and experience. Well, you're gonna see it. We're gonna boot from the bootable USB stick by hitting F9 on this computer could be something else on your computer and we're gonna boot from the external USB stick and what you see here is the start screen and you cannot see it so good but in the left corner there you can choose what you want to do if you want to boot the system installer or boot into live graphic modes or in debug mode in every normal situation you should be able to boot the system live uh, special credits goes out to franco but not to forget the founder kendek and a big thumbs up of course to debian for the main operating system there we go booting up pair debian very lovely nice system I started last night with uh, with building and this morning I continued and finished it. The distro is 2.3 gigabytes. I will upload it if I see that some of you like it. This is all happening straight from USB. You can as well install the system. I have videos how to do that, how to install a system back distribution. It's based on KDA Plasma and the password will be channel 48 with no capitals. And the SU password is channel 48 with capital C. Remember it. So to log in, it's just channel 48, no capitals. And the SU password is, and there we go. This is the system peeps. And uh, yeah, nice system. Might look kind of familiar to you. Um, here we have our start menu. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks very familiar, uh, even though it's having uh, kind of mac os styled icons 
this is uh, yeah <laughs> very familiar i think here you have your weather your trash and this is a clock that is telling you that it's 20 past seven here a nice little uh, pier pier uh, start menu pier orb to say this way in windows world and uh, well not too much applications but things that you can do out of the box uh, for instance you can watch the news and tv live tv powered by tux than any other republican lawmaker if and she's not on the judiciary committee which means she it will go to higher mode higher quality information here you see that which means if she comes out of this meeting today feeling good about judge jackson becoming justice jackson that'd be a very positive sign for her confirmation all right NBC. you can add uh your own iptv list if you wish good just go to channels at group and here custom channel group and select a name here tv or so and paste the m3u link that you got from github or so paste it in there and then you're gonna have um yeah the content that you that you added that is your tv uh, out of the box uh, yeah you can as well listen to music and that powered by elisa i already told you i love elisa and uh, it's set to Farai Radio, Reggae Radio. <laughs> so you can immediately tune in. But there are even other st stations, jazz, um, yeah, all sorts here. You can see that classic rock, uh, French music, uh, jazz music, nostalgic, and they all sh they all should play. Oops. Jazz, nostalgic, yeah, etc. Instrumentals. This one is not playing. Hey, somebody should update this. Okay, it's playing. Stop. <laughs> okay, so um, that is Elisa. We have, of course, an application store where you can uh, download certain things temporary and install them and use them. You can as well install the system. Okay, um, what can this system be used for? Uh, this system can be used for oh, let me set it a little bit like this so you can see the nice rasta rasta yeah tiles here in the corner the window tiles or titles whatever you call it um so in fact i did not add too much uh, i just wanted to, to make a nice system and here you can see that it's uh, showing uh the apple styled icons uh, but if you want windows styled icons just go to icons type icons and then up here just select um the windows icon pack with red folders and then apply it boom it will stay pair but you're now gonna have windows styled icons you see that so now it will look just like your windows uh well <laughs> not completely it will look about like you know something that looks like windows 11. um so yeah we have bleach bit built in to clean up your system it was set it up uh, correctly so you can just click clean and then it will clean <clears throat> for what can you use the system that was uh, the question uh, you can use it uh, for internet um, it's very powerful 
on the internet thanks to its built-in VPN. And I'm gonna show you how to use that. Uh, if you open the internet, you will get to the Firefox start page. Just wait a little bit more. And up here, you're gonna see some plugins. Uh, you can immediately tune in to uh, the radio. This is a page that will open. This is, uh, yeah. I must report these guys still. Um, this is uh, your radio. And it was set to Surinam. I was listening to Surinam music. You see? So, but you can get uh, all countries in the world. And here you can see all the countries in the world that you can tune into to the radio stations that represent that country. Guadeloupe, Colombia, name it. It's all there, but I go to Suriname, okay? Um, what more? You have your scroll. You can scroll uh, with your tablet. If you're installing this on a tablet, um, which I doubt, but you could, you know, um, you can then just scroll like as if you're using a tablet. This is your VPN. Uh, just hit got it and then select the country that you want to connect to, for instance, uh, UK. And we're just gonna go and connect to UK. We're gonna enable the blockers, okay? Malware blocker, WebRTC blocker, and bypass local network. Now, um, we're doing all these things, but every time when you're gonna boot the system, you will have to do this again. You don't have to really turn off the system. You can just put it uh, to sleep and then next day, you know? just open the lid and then yeah i'm using a external uh cable here for the internet you see so when i go to bed i just pull out the cable and i put it to sleep so it can as well not wake up via lan you know or whatsoever so it's just not connected and it doesn't know my password for the wi-fi so it cannot it can never nothing can happen to it and it just goes to sleep and then you don't have to boot up and, and, and do all these things again, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Now, uh, if you're going to check my IP. Oops. Yeah. It takes a second. My internet is connected, yeah. Sometimes it takes a second uh, to connect uh, to the to the thing. Just click something. Click click a link or any link. Just try something until it goes. Because in some way I see that it's 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 sometimes messing up a little bit here the VPN. If you don't want to connect via United Kingdom, just go, for instance, Russian Federation or whatsoever. And now you're connected via Russia. And let's see, pair icon source, if it can open it. Yes, okay. So now, when it can open a page, then you're set to go, okay? Now you can go to any website you wish. So now, if I type my IP, could be that Google is going to complain. Uh, here, my IP address. You see, these kinds of things you might get on, on certain, certain sites. What is the locatie van mijn IP address? Kijk hier. Loading. Here, you see. Moscow, Russia. <laughs> I so now I have a Russian uh, uh, IP address, you see? And if you're gonna go to another, here, let's say Canada, then it might take a little again before you can connect. But if I'm gonna refresh the page, We first go to here, okay, and then we go back, loading. Now, it's saying that, hey, 
How can it say that I'm in Amsterdam? This is not my IP address. <laughs> and it's set to browsing in Canada. Internet provider M247. So let's go to Germany. We got a German IP address now. Okay, we're back. So yeah, a good browser that will let you browse uh, yeah, privately. You won't uh, be sharing your IP address everywhere you go. An ad blocker that does not work on YouTube. Okay, it works everywhere else, but not on YouTube, not on XDA, and not on Android file host. Okay, these are the whitelisted uh, pages, and you cannot change this because I put password. Okay, so don't try to change it. Thank you. Uh, for the rest, uh, peeps, uh, yeah, I'm just playing a bit. But these are the things that you can do with it, a nice operating system that will, yeah, give you a good user experience straight from uh, USB stick. You don't have to install it. Uh, you can just uh, run it straight from USB stick. And if you create a persistence uh, drive with uh, yeah, some space, the extra space that you have on the USB stick, this thing is only 2.3 gigabytes, this ISO. So that means if you're using an 8 gigabyte stick, you should have at least five free gigabytes that you could create a persistence drive from. You know, just uh, create a five gigabyte extra drive, a second drive, and uh, just format it in Gparted to FAT32 or to NTFS, whatever you wish, you know. And then that USB stick uh, will as well uh, be uh, accessible with a Windows computer so you can get your files that you downloaded on the, win uh, on the Linux uh, to your Windows computer. So you can still use five gigabytes of the USB stick as a portable, as a portable drive. That's how you should see it. Okay, so uh, that's it. Um, yeah, for the rest, yeah, a special system. Uh, it was made, yeah, in in one day, you can say. Um, it was not so much work to make this, um, thanks to the amazing Debian operating system and the great community behind it. You know, this is the new community clock, community design clock. It's new, it's not the black one anymore, it's nice white, and so it looks good. Uh, as well, the, uh, yeah, the weather uh, widget looks uh, amazing in V2, I think, yeah. I'm gonna set my icons back because this is a pear system. And yeah, pear and apple, they are kind of, you know, family. So I'm gonna put my apple icons again. <clears throat> So the weather as well gets more colorful here. The blue looks beautiful. So yeah, uh, peeps, uh, I hope you, you like this operating system. So um, yeah, if you want to install it, you can. Uh, here, your system back is installed. Password for system back will be channel 48, but capital C, channel 48. And uh, yeah, for the rest, peeps, uh, check out the video how to install it if you don't know how to install it. But you can simply install it here. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, you put your credentials and you hit next. This is Debian, by the way, and this is not Ubuntu. So you can use uh, a super uh, password, a super user password uh, in this system, but you don't have to. You can as well create one password, just like, you know, in Ubuntu but you can as well have a user password and a root password, you know, that only the administrator can change things. So you can set it up the way you want uh, during the install. And don't forget in the next step to as well select, uh, to uh, as well copy the user files uh, that were used to make the operating system like this. Uh, so you will get the same experience after you gonna install it. So that is it, uh, peeps. Uh, yeah, Peer Debian <laughs> yeah, kind of idea that I got, and I like it. I hope you like it as well. Um, for the rest, yeah, 
quite applications, uh, not too much as I already said, uh, but the most essential. Uh, and I as well added Live Clone. This one is new. Live Clone. It's called Live Clone. And with this application, you can clone uh, partitions, you can clone drives, you can clone. Yeah, you must just check it out. Uh, I must still uh, see how it exactly works. Uh, but it's a very nice application. Okay. It's called cloning live sticks. You can as well clone a live stick. So yeah, this, this operating system could be cloned. The 32 gigabyte stick where this uh, operating system is installed to the, the, the mother OS. I could clone it easily thanks to this application. So this is as well built in peeps. Um, yeah, this is as well built in this. And with this application, you can as well do amazing things as you may know. Uh, you could clone a complete drive with this as well. So, yeah, this is what you can do with the live cloning. Um, you can as well do from here. You can create an image that can uh, as well uh, be used to create a bootable USB stick in Rufus. And then, yeah, just uh, boot it and then it will work. So that is all very amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I don't want to make this video even longer. But this is it. Uh, pure uh, Linux GNU. Yeah. Check it out. Amazing, sweet, and works. Well, that was it. I hope you liked this video and the OS. If you do, uh, don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up, okay? And uh, yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, subscribe if you never subscribed yet to my channel. And then you'll be seeing me in the next video again. Au revoir and a <laughs>